All right, so we've thought of a few different characters and setting. Now we're going to write a story. And you can use these characters, but we don't have to, okay? Once upon a time, outside a hamburger, they couldn't be friends anymore. They get trapped inside a whale. A talking platypus, a flying ninja who do like oh. And every day they didn't know what to do. I think we come in and we kind of teach them that it can come to life and that you can make writing fun and like what they're putting on the paper can actually become real. You know, get it out there and it's it's all a good idea. It's all a good story. And every day a bear came to try and eat Winnie the Pooh. It's a pretty incredible thing when you think about writing and, and I remember going to school and how you know boring it was to just sit there and write, but how like enthused they are about the writing process after we have acted it out and everything and been like, yes, yes, okay, yeah, it could be an alien with that and it could be a magician and it could be this and it could be that. This story is gonna be awesome. You know, you can have fun while being creative, while working towards something, while writing something. The imagination that kids have can make like all these awesome stories that people wouldn't know of and if it wasn't for this program then we wouldn't have like this material and stuff to showcase. Making kids understand that they have a voice even at such a young age, it encourages them to try hard and make them feel like they're actually important and they do have a say so in the world we live in right now. They're coming to life, they're speaking more, they're acting more, they're starting to gel more as a classroom. It's really neat to see them support one another when I'm walking around the room and the other kids are reading other students' writing. It's just amazing how well they're able to work together now. <laughs> You're hilarious. I mean, I'm looking at their written work that has been performed in here and their written work outside of Literacy to Life and it's just been blossoming. And it's just amazing to see the transition because they're finally unlocking their creativity. And that's what has been needed the whole time. Jonathan P. Memphis and I am a fan of the literacy to life. Okay, give me out the room, okay? The goal is to do creative writing with the students and we use theater techniques to get them thinking creatively and coming up with different characters. And then we bring all their stories together and make a giant play for the whole school. Beyond the program itself and beyond the plays and, and the scripts that they're writing, their ability to focus and their ability to be passionate about what they're putting down on paper is amazing. It's very exciting as an educator to see kids get excited about writing and to see kids blossom into what you would hope would be just creative minds working together and having success in creating that passion in them. It's not enough to educate the mind. I think you have to feed the soul. And this program does an extraordinary job of not only bringing a young person into understanding the importance of arts, but giving them some of the techniques that will cross over into helping them in their life and in their education and for whatever they choose to do for the remainder of their years.